this video is going to share with you that the ferry experience from uh, Vienna to Bratislava. Am I pronouncing this right? So it's called the uh, Twin City Liner. Just right over there behind me. Uh, if you are taking an Uber or taxi here, they will not able to drop you just exactly the location. You just have to walk a little bit. So let's follow me and show you what the experience will be. Uh, I believe that uh, this should be the entrance. Yep. Get to Bratislava. I already bought my ticket online. Uh, I will recommend you to do so. We have the twelve thirty ticket, so you only have to be uh, reached to the check-in point fifteen minutes before we do. Everyone's are waiting right over here, and I also can see that the ferry is on the left hand side. Uh, on the ticket, they will never tell you that it's on the weather platform one or two. Let the staff to scan the QR code, then you can board. Here is the condition to board the ferry. Uh, I think for wheelchair passenger is still okay. It can be a little bit challenging, but uh, should be fine. I'm sure that if you are coming in the wheelchair, there'll be a staff to help you about the luggages. Inside looks like this. Uh, the very first thing I need to do, I have to go to the luggage rack to uh, leave the luggage. So here it is. This is the bicycle rack, and then if you book for business class, you can go up inside the cabin. And uh, let me show you how everything. Let me uh, go upstairs. Uh, there are some free sitting on top, but uh, if you are going inside to the business class, of course, that you have to buy the business class ticket. So the view here is not too bad. Uh, if you are not worried about the sunlight, this is a very nice seat for you to catch a very nice view. And then uh, this is called Captain's Lounge, would be the business class uh, benefits. It's quite nice. Uh, I think that. The weather here like this, I can have catch a very nice view. Okay, so let's uh, go back to my seat. Well, you don't have to worry about the food and beverages. Here will be taken care. Uh, let's see the price. So for pretzel, this is for for thirty. Then the sparkling wine is for ten. Alcohol-free drinks are like Coca-Cola is at three fifty. It's a reasonable price. Here is a gents. Uh, you get the urinal and then someone pee without flushing, and a mirror and the ventilation a little bit bad and quite smelly. I guess they are using the river water to flush the toilet, so it had uh, this color. This is a handicapped toilet and also the baby diaper changing toilet. It's very spacious. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, it just looks like a shower facility, but yeah, I think it's a turn off already. Okay, I don't think you need to shower for an hour ferry ride. Little tips for smoker, um, this area, uh, the smoking zone, but you're not allowed to uh, smoke, drink or eat on the second deck. So yeah, people already start to smoke. Oh, that's one of the staff actually. So I guess we'll make a reverse over there and then we will head to that side and once it's in a wider river, it will go faster later. This is a legstrom for this uh, ferry ride and it's, it's about the uh, airline seats room, uh, legstrom space. On the seat pocket, you get the safety card and the menu of the, the food. Hang on, let me show you. It's around here. So you can uh, just buy all this thing. So all the drinks are not allowed. Drinks and food are not allowed to bring out on the second deck, and then they will not offer any glass uh, bottle for you. So if you are drinking a bottle of champagne, uh, sparkling wine, you have to get this uh, plastic glass. And uh, this is a tray table. There is a free Wi-Fi. Uh, the speed is not really good but it's good enough for you to load your social media if you can see the screen at the front is actually show you the current location of the ship uh, is heading to I mean the location we are actually very near to the airport right now this just right on our right side will be the Vienna Airport after passing the last bridge this uh, antenna thing is actually suddenly lift up and uh, we are going to the main river now which you can see that are on the right side which means that the boat will be increased the, the speed in a bit more then uh, passengers are safe to walk around after we are in this river it can be quite cold 
is so if you're going to enjoy the view up here make sure you bring along a jacket to keep yourself warm uh, yeah let me uh, go back to the cabin is uh, keep myself warm this is inside the cabin it's warm and uh, quiet over here it's actually it's not bad though to have a window seat because that the window is like uh, white from the bottom to top you can really catch a very nice view over here i think we are going to pass by the very beautiful view of the city and i can see there's a castle right on top over there and some beautiful old buildings so i decided to come out to uh, check out the view this is a very interesting boat that to dig out the soil on the river bed and uh, we are getting near to the beautiful building over there you can see on the hillside there's a small little castle and then uh, it looks like a very beautiful old town over here the view here is really really nice but uh, the wind can be really strong so when you are standing over here the water actually splashing up all over yourself so uh, bring a waterproof jacket that will be good for you right at the front you can see that's a beautiful thing it looks like castle it is actually one of the tourist attraction right over there um it looks quite beautiful to me it's like a ruined castle it has the name uh let me see if i can if i can get the name from the google map it is called divine ski heart so it looks like this it's, uh have a quite a high review on uh, google map if you are traveling you have time you can actually passing by over here to have a quick exploration about this uh, beautiful castle the ship has slowed down a little bit it's not because there's a beautiful view it's because there's a small little boat right over there uh, it can be go very very fast so but uh, when there's some small boat passing by this uh, ship will slow down uh, good and bad if you are in a hurry uh, it might slow down a little bit but if you are enjoying the view it's actually it's nice for you to check out the beautiful view uh, surrounding this uh, river so after it passed by this uh, ship it will increase the speed i can hear that the engine is actually roaring so are uh, going to faster faster <laughs> faster speed in a bit it's actually a little bit cool i'm like shaking a little bit with a very uh, single thin layer of the what they call uh long sleeve so this is the captain's lounge inside there is like uh, quite privacy but you don't really catch a nice view compared to the seat that we got below because that the window is not a uh, fully from top to bottom but it's comfortable uh, legs room very interesting that we are actually stopped by the restaurant i guess then we have to go by from this uh, oh okay twin city liner platform like this very interesting so maybe i can go up to uh, give a look of the platform that we will be passing by it will be right over there and then we will go that way so that's where the passenger from uh, Bratislava bought this uh, ferry to Vienna when the ferry park and there's no announcement so anytime that you need to grab your luggage you can grab it near to you then it's easier for you to uh, disembark from the ferry um, to uh, disembark from the ferry is uh, quite simple I'm not sure about there's a high tide or low tide but you can just uh, bring out your stuff and uh, yeah just a river sorry, just a bridge like this then you have to uh, bring your luggage up uh, on a slope so if you have a lot of the heavy luggage with you it can be a little bit challenging and a wheelchair is also a little bit challenging for you to uh, push up these are the road and the platform to uh, come up from this uh, city liner platform a little bit tiring for me with my big luggage and a uh, heavy luggage so i have completed the trip and then uh, i think that this uh, ferry ride is uh, very smooth not too noisy although i can hear the engine sounds but it's actually not annoying at all very stable you will not get seasick at all um, and uh, yeah it's uh, quite on time you don't have to worry about the what they call uh, the delay all this thing because that once is a uh, 15 minutes the boarding time for them and then like we bought everything and then we depart on time 
So here it is, uh, there's an uh, outside now. Uh, we will walk over there to our hotel. So I hope that this video is helpful for you to uh, make a booking with a ferry ride from Vienna to Bra Brasilava. Or if you can think that this is something you might know, uh, helpful for you for Brasilava to Vienna. Okay, goodbye.